what is negativity bias and why is it even important, right? So negativity bias is our innate um, process where our mind naturally goes to the negative. Our mind naturally remembers the threat or the difficult experiences or the challenging experiences or the really hard times in our life or the time that someone did something that was so unfair and so unjust to us, right? Why is that? Why does your mind naturally focus on the negative even when intellectually you know that there's all this other good stuff that has happened too, right? but your mind still tends to focus on the negative. Why is that? That is because in the way back in the hunter gatherer days, um, when you were out hunting, gathering food, if you spotted a tiger, your mind automatically recorded all of the sensory information related to that experience, right? You needed to remember exactly where you saw that tiger, what the surroundings were, what that tiger looked like, what that tiger was doing. You needed to remember every single detail of that experience, right? So as to not encounter that threat again, right? Um, and so your mind still does this right? When you encounter a challenging situation or a difficult experience, your mind still naturally records every single detail of that experience. So as to not encounter that same sort of quote unquote threat again, right? This is the process of negativity bias. This is an evolutionary process um, that we still have. But we don't need to stay focused on those negatives as much anymore, right? There is no um, literal tiger, right? For most of us, right? And so this time of year where you're seeing people talk about and you're seeing posts about reflecting on your past year and thinking about what you want this new year to look like, right? Honestly, it's one of my favorite things to do this time of year, but I also understand it can be hard because when you start this process of reflecting on your past year, guess what? Negativity bias kicks in and the first things your mind is going to think about is all of the challenging situations, all of those really difficult experiences that you had to face and overcome this past year. And you know what? Thinking about and reflecting on those experiences can be hard hard and that is normal. So if you're hearing all these people talking about, you know, using this time of year to reflect on the past and if that is bringing up difficult emotions for you right now, if that is feels really hard for you right now, I want you to know that that is okay. That that is normal. That that comes from this biological response that your mind is hardwired for, right? And so because of that, part of my New Year's visioning process every year is to start off by asking questions that make me think about the positive of the past year. Asking questions like, what can you feel proud of yourself for from this past year? What was a challenging experience and what were the strengths within yourself that helped you overcome that challenge, that helped you get to the other side, right? What were some experiences this past year that made you laugh out loud? What were some experiences that made you your heart just feel warm and full, right? Because when you start to think about those positive experiences, which you have to make an intentional effort to do, right? Because again, your mind is naturally going to go to that negative experience. So thinking about, um, you have to actually intentionally cultivate these positive emotions and this positive momentum in your reflection process, right? And that is the first step of my New Year's visioning process is to cultivate that positive momentum. And then from that place of positive energy and momentum to then build a vision and a plan for your new year, right? So 
if any of this resonates with you right now, um, if any of this excites you about taking this different, unique approach to building momentum to plan for your new year, to plan for your next year from this place of mm, not a fake positivity, but a place of intentionally retraining your mind from that negativity bias to a more positive outlook, to a more growth mindset outlook approach to building on and cultivating your new year, then I invite you to join me for my Create Your Radiant Year workshop. I'm holding it on January 14th and I'm going to walk you step by step the process that I do every single year to plan my new year. And this is a process that I created and I've been doing for the past. This will be my fourth year of doing it. Um, and it came out of my own need of a New Year's process that was different from the rest, right? Because I was always setting goals for my New Year, doing resolutions, all of those sort of things, um, creating a vision for my year. And it, I found that by the end of the year, it always led to mm, feeling pretty disappointed because life kept throwing curveballs and you know, that's the nature of life. Life is always going to throw curveballs. So instead of constantly feeling disappointed because of those thir um, um, ah, curveballs, <laughs> why not create a plan that makes you feel good about yourself, that takes into consideration the fact that life is always throwing twists and turns and so what aspects of yourself can you cultivate through your new year's visioning process to help you feel confident to help you feel empowered to face those challenges that are inevitably going to show up right and you know not only do unexpected challenges show up in life but life also has a way of throwing unexpected moments of happiness and joy, right? If you allow yourself to keep your mind and your eyes open to it, right? And so this New Year's process that I'm talking about, it not only sets you up for success through the challenging moments of life, it also allows you to stay open to the unexpected magic of life that can show up as well. So I'm going to include the link below. I really hope you'll join me for the workshop. Um, and if nothing else, I hope that this video, you know, whatever you decide about the workshop, I hope that this video has helped to, um, helped you to understand a little bit more about this idea of negativity bias and in whatever way feels right to you that you find some way to um, reflect on the positive aspects of the past year as well. So whether that's during the workshop with me or just as a result of watching this video. I certainly hope that for you.